help to put some folks to rest when they see it and are given the tools to understand and do it and verify what their bill says. Here. Um, a couple of things. Uh, did you find out about, like our property had a Board of Appeals um, reduction in our value based on the CMP property that bisected it? Did you find out if that carries through? I haven't found that out yet, but I have it on my list and I will find out. Okay. And, and it carries through more than one year, is what you're saying. Yeah, because the guy from Parker. Yeah, he said it's only for one year, and he made it very clear he was a licensed. Yeah. Which I'll get some clarification before. on that just to make sure that we have it correct. Yeah. Because we're not doing a real year. I'm not sure what he was trying to say. Yeah. So oh, okay. Um, I did some studying in the state stat statutes, anyway, state rules. I believe they said if you assess a person's property, you have to be a licensed assessor. They are licensed assessors. But this board here is not. They're not assessing the property. But they're granting abatements on property. They, which the is, municipal officers have the authority to grant abatements. Based which, upon the formula of what was. If, if, if you come in and say, my house is not 4,500 square feet, it's 2,500 square feet. And we go and say, okay, that's true. And, and we then just say, we take whatever that formula is, it corrects that line item. And it tabulates that, and, you, and, and that's what you presented in your abatement request. And we, in our numbers jot, and we then we grant it, and it's done. Because that, that's, that's, a, a, that's not an assess, it's, it's a tabulation. Okay. Yeah, so and that's something that you're providing evidence on. Okay. What we're going to be doing is quantifiable for okay. a formula. So are we going to be required to go back to the Board of Appeals, or the... the Board of Assessment Board Review. Board of Assessment Review to regain that previously determined reduction in property value? If this board denies. But there may be a line item in there that says, I mean, I haven't seen the formula. So, so it may say um, electrical lines, credits X percent, or whatever it is. There's a formula. I mean, everything in there is it's driven to a formula. It, it's so I guess my point is, so what he actually said is correct. From last year, we got it, I think, two years ago, to this year now, it does not apply. So we have to therefore go back and apply for it? That's what we're you, you will need to apply for an abatement, yes. You may not need to go to the Board of Assessment Review, but you will need to fill out the form for an abatement to be presented to this board. And if there's an, if, the, and if, it, if the formula jives, let's say you get a 62% reduction mm -hmm. because you're bisected by a power line. That's what's, t that there's a, I, I presume a, a checkbox or a value that goes with that. Is that a correct assumption? I haven't seen it yet, but I would think so. So there's, I mean, there's, it's really a math formula. Okay, now but will that carry forward every single year until we have another Reval, which state mandates every 10 years. We don't know. So that was, that was my question at first. We don't have clarification yet. Okay. But, but okay. I have to presume that the alterations made to the file, if, they were, if the information that was input was inaccurate, once we correct it, you're not going to get 4,500 square feet next year, you're going to get 2,500 square feet next year because we fix the field that made yeah, the error. Yeah, um, my point is that the physical numbers and quantities inputted by the, the assessors, it, we fix that with the guy right here. So we, he had our house with an extra bedroom, he had some other things that we corrected with him. So the physical numbers and computing was done on our tax card. But what he said didn't exist anymore was the abatement that was credited to the property for the CMP bisecting it. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's a granted kind of, appeal. It's sort of a unique circumstance. But I presume we'll once we make a field entry, that it carries forward. I I would think so, but I don't know yet. I mean, it, it, it's no to me that's no different than the wrong square footage. Okay. All right. But I don't have anything. Okay. Thank you. Nope. That's it. Oh, Jensen Bear. Um, I wanted to know if any of you wanted to sign up for the Jensen Bear 
client seminar, yes, which when? will be September 14th, which is a non-meeting Thursday. Yes, please. Yes, Kathy? I, if I'm here, hold on, let me check. I, I believe I'm here. Okay, I will sign everybody up. But we want to win something this year. <laughs> I want something. You want a participation trophy? No, they were giving things away. Future agenda items. It was, it was not on, it, to be clear, the prizes were not awarded on merit. They were by chance. They were drawn out of the table. Oh, they were drawn. chance drawn. Right. The table was not, it was gotcha. no reflection on our quality. Gotcha. You we were all winners of quality. <laughs> Um, I have some information that I wish to bring to your attention. I did an online class about internships in public service um, that for future planning might be something for us to consider. The Department of Labor is giving uh, very small stipends um, for municipalities who wish to encourage people to enter public service professionally, whether it be on road crews or town clerks and all kinds of stuff. Well, not thinking about replacing you. Just no, when I need an assistant, that's great. When you need, <laughs> when you need an assistant, that's perfect. But it does, it does uh, merit some conversation. And um, it's an interesting program because we need people under the age of 60 to go up into the public service sector. Oh, that's age discrimination. Oh. Only because people under 60 I'm have old it. No, no, it's, it's the training value. If you're over 60 and you wish to work What about these people that are in the spring and still working? Well, they would be willing to. You cannot discriminate on account of age. And maybe I'll apply for an internship myself. And then how it come I have to be very quick announcements. Oh, yes. The first one, I would like to make everyone aware that we've had our fifth case of rabies in the Sabino area, so please remain diligent and aware of your surroundings and report any suspicious activity to our animal control officer, Todd Stead. Information is on our website, westbath.org. Second announcement is that select board papers and school board papers are available. Uh, we desperately need two people to run for school board. We do have some nomination papers out for select board. Both of those are available now, available through September 8th. And more information, call the town hall. And lastly, I would like to offer my thanks and appreciation and gratitude to the select board for supporting me and attending the Clerks Institute. It was amazing, and I'll tell you all about it when it's not uh, past 7 o'clock. Thank, <laughs> thank you for supporting me. Did you have a good time? Any public comment? Um, two years ago, my friend of the warden told me, um, uh, you're not supposed to touch any dead animal that you might find because there's been so much rabies, especially fox. So yeah. I have a question about that. I saw a fox on my driveway today at 4 o'clock. Is that bad? Is that no, good? no, that's not necessary. Well, he was running. Like, the way you're supposed to be at night. The rabies is in the saliva, so like a friend of ours, their cat got picked up by a fox. Yeah. And if your cat does, you really should have them taken in because you shouldn't touch the cat without gloves. Rabies is that, and there's no, it's, it's a zero survivability rate for rabies. Really? There's only been you two recorded cases in the U.S. in the last eight years. You have years. to get the shots. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the shots. the shots will keep you from it. I thought we had. You have to get the shots. Yeah, untreated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Untreated. Okay. I thought. Okay. Okay. I make a motion. Second. 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 Second.